trying to figure out my light situation. This is always such a struggle, I feel like. Hello, hello, this is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Good to be back with everybody. How y'all doing? It's been a little while, a little over a week. So hello, hello. Um, say hey when you're hopping on. Spread this out on your pages. Um, I'm getting this out on mine right now. Da, da, da. So we can spread the love. Say hey, hey, hey. When you're hopping on, we're making, um, we're doing some, some wood spoons tonight. I'm very excited about this one. Hi, Mom. Why is it not working? Here we go. All right. Let's get this out. Get this out. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Thanks for hopping on. All right. Let's see if this worked. Yes, no, maybe. All right. And now I can watch. Now I can see. All right. Hello, hello. Welcome. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're doing our weekly live craft. Um, and we are going to be decorating some wood spoons tonight. I had asked yesterday at the poll, what should we do? We had some pineapple straws. We had some wood spoons. Wood spoons was the winner. Um, so we're going to be making some ordinary wood spoons into something fun. So I'll give everybody a second to hop on. Oh, no, I forgot my drink. Can I have my drink, please? Good thing Bob came up. Thank you. Oh, no, Bob lost his phone. Again. Again. He's searching. Oh. oh, boy, he really lost it. He's opening up the cabinet and everything. All right. Did we find it? Nope. Uh-oh. Bing it. Use, hey, use the little thing. Mom says hi. Hi, Mom. Use the, <laughs> use the little thing to bing it. It's really cool. Anybody else ever use that? So, all right. I'm glad it looks like everybody's starting to hop on. We'll get going. So, like I said, tonight we're going to turn ordinary wood spoons into something cute, fun, decor. All right, so I've got this package of wood spoons. Um, I got it from Marshall's for four bucks. Um, and so you kind of have to watch out sometimes. So you can get wooden spoons at the Dollar Tree, but a lot of times you pay a dollar per. Well, this is six things that I got for four dollars. So sometimes you can get a better deal at other places. Um, so just kind of watch out and you'll you learn as you go. Um, sorry, I'm going to open these. My thought, oh, this is going to be difficult to open. My thought tonight um, for color scheme was um, I'm going to make this into like more of a buttery yellow because I really like this. Hi, Liz. Um, and I really like we have this buffalo check napkin. So my color scheme is going to be like a butter yellow and this buffalo check. And I'm going to do uh, each spoon a little different or like one spoon a little bit different than the rest. And I figure there are six here, but I think I'm only going to decorate three um and make like a little hanging thing so we've got our we've got our spoons so i'm gonna use let's see here i'm definitely going to use this one i'm going to use the regular spoon this is all warped it's kind of cool though it's bamboo makes it look a little more natural how's everybody doing what's everybody up to um and then i will use this up look at this it's a pasta spoon anybody ever seen one of these before you um that is the perfect serving. Can you see it? That hole makes the perfect serving of spaghetti. So you hold the spaghetti and however many, um, whoops, however many spaghetti sprigs dry can fit through it, that's a perfect one serving. So fun fact for everybody. Um, when you have those little spaghetti scoopers that have kind of like the teeth looking um, on it, the, there's a hole in the middle, same thing. Helps you figure out the one, um, the one serving. So anywho, I think we're gonna use we're gonna use this one, this one, and I don't know. I'm trying to think. Um, we've got we've got this one wood. We've got square slot spaghetti hole. It's weird fork looking one and the spoon one. I'm thinking. I think I. I think I like this one because it's kind of fun. A little something different. All right, so we're gonna set these aside. We can make another project with those sometimes. All right, so make sure I see lots of friends hopping on. So make sure you say hello. Let me know where you're watching from um, if you're new. If you're watching this on the replay, please um, hashtag replay. Love to hear from you later. And make sure that if you're loving this, please spread it out on your pages. All right, so my thought here is we're only going to decorate the um, handles, not 
the top parts, all right? So to do that, we're gonna use some painter's tape. And like I said, I wanna do two of these in a butter yellow, and then I wanna do one of them with the um, buffalo check napkin, all right? That's my thought. So let's get everything ready to go. Of course, I, I always forget something, and it usually is the sanding block, and I have forgotten the sanding block again. So after we paint these and apply the napkins, um, I have two different sizes of wood beads that we're going to put together in a little hanger um, to make kind of a little bit decorative um, how they'll hang up. All right? So it has been a hot second since I've been here. Um, we went away for a few days last week. We went up to Ithaca, the Finger Lakes. Um... I can't even, I need to like talk and, and work here. This isn't going to work. Oh, hello. Um, I can't even begin to explain to you how beautiful the vaca this vacation was and how beautiful this area was. Um, it was absolutely amazing. We had so much fun. Um, we made it a point that we didn't really want to plan anything. We just, I mean, we had a few things we wanted to do. Um, and of course, like, you know, in my usual style, I found things that I wanted us to do in terms of like nature and so on and so forth. I just want to make sure I get like a semi straight line on this, but it kind of goes on an angle. So that's going to make it difficult. Um, but so went up to Ithaca, went to the Finger Lakes. I had never been there before. Bob had, um, dad was telling me he had to, um, or no, he said he went further. He's been to Lake Placid. That's right. Um, but so we stayed, we stayed for a few days and we, we, so I've never seen waterfalls like this before. Has anybody else ever been up to the Finger Lakes? Any, I know there's like 11 of them, so you don't have to go to Ithaca. There's 11 Finger Lakes. Um, so there's so many cities and so many little towns around there. Um, but talk about corn country on the way. Holy moly. Um, definitely like no life out there. I'm just taping off so we can have a that's not even straight. That's okay. It's rustic. Um, so I'm going to leave the bamboo tops and paint the bottoms. Um, but yeah, so it was a crazy beautiful time. Crazy beautiful time. We saw, I've never seen waterfalls like that before. Um, we literally, so we went to this one waterfall called, I believe it was pronounced Tagonic. Tagonic, I think. Um, it was just, so it was on Cuga Lake. Um, which is where we stayed on Cuga Lake, um, which I learned how to say it's, I thought the whole time I was looking at like us going there, I thought it was Cayuga, but we went on this little cruise on the, on the lake, like just like a little ride to our ride on like a, um, it was like a little cruise they had. It was really cool. And the, the locals kept saying Cuga. So we were staying on Cuga Lake, Cuga, Cayuga Lake or Cuga, whatever it is. Um, and I'm just taping off everything here. And I'm not worried about them being even with each other. I really don't care. I'm just taping them off wherever I think it naturally cuts off on the spoon itself. Um, and so just um, just around the corner, around, literally around the river bend, around the lake bend, to quote Pocahontas, was um, this waterfall. So there's waterfalls everywhere, first of all. There's waterfalls everywhere, which I'm not used to. It was so cool. And um, I'm going to mix up some paint now. So I'm just taking some pale daffodil from Apple Barrel, but I want to make it more light. This is quite a bright one, so I want to make it a little bit, a little bit less bright. Little, I don't know, yeah, just a little bit, a little bit less. Um, and so there's waterfalls everywhere, which I've never seen these kinds of waterfalls before. Amazing. And we went to this one called... Tagonic, I believe it's called Tagonic, um, and it's actually three stories taller than Niagara Falls, which I was like, that's kind of amazing. Now, I've never been to Niagara Falls, um, and I know that, I well, I assume part of the the whole big thing about Niagara Falls is the, the size, right? The width and the, I don't know, the amount of power coming out of it, yada, yada. But this was a much skinnier waterfall skinny by no means but skinnier um and it but it was three stories taller it was amazing it was absolutely amazing i'm just grabbing a paintbrush 
Let's grab Mrs. T's brush tonight. I'm in a, I'm in a mood and I, you know, it's a happy, nostalgic-y kind of mood. All right, here's a Mrs. T's brush. So, um, I want, let's see. One of these is going to be the, um, I still trying to think when I hang them, I kind of want the gingham, the buffalo check plaid to be in the middle. And so I think I want, yeah. So this one's going to be buffalo check. I'm going to set that one aside. I see lots of friends hopping on. So make sure you're saying hey in the comment section when you hop on. I'm Bethany from Cat Your Stitches. We're stitches. We're making some decorative wooden spoons tonight. Um, and some kitchen decor, if you will. Um, and make sure that you spread this out on your page if you're loving it. All right. So we went, we saw this, we were able to get so close that we got like soaking wet, which was so cool. Um, I FaceTimed my mom, right mom, when we were there. Um, so she could see it, you know, like that, but I took lots of videos and lots of pictures. Um, oh my gosh, we had such a blast. And then, so across the street from where you get the path, the walking path to go to, to Gonic Falls, um, first of all, it was like a three quarter mile walk. It wasn't far to get to the waterfall. So the whole time you're just following the river that leads out to the lake. So it goes from the waterfall down to the lake. And I mean, that alone was just gorgeous, literally gorgeous, like gorgeous. Um, and we got, yeah, we got those shirts that say Ithaca is gorgeous, like G-O-R-G-E-S, which I thought was hilarious. Um, Bob got sweatpants. I got a shirt. And um, I should have worn it tonight. Shug, so you guys could have seen it. You know what? I've been getting paint on everything I wear lately. I'm trying really hard to not get it on this tonight. Um, we need to plug this in. Um, but so I'm, I actually ordered myself an apron um, and it was like made for for plus size. Um, I got it on Etsy. I'll have to, when I get it in, I'll tag it. Um, but it's made for plus size so that it's a little bit bigger up here. So it covers me more. Um, so that should be in next week, I think. So I'll, I'll have to wear it. Um, actually, no, it should be in this week, right? Yeah, it should be in later this week. So I should be able to wear it this weekend for Christmas in July. Let's see who's hopping on. Hi, Robin. Hi, Bob. Um, so I'm just drying up first coat on this. But so, yeah, so at, so across the street um, from the waterfall, the path to the waterfall, I should say, was a, um, a state park. And hi, Beth. How are you? You're wearing a lovely outfit. Watch out with the paint. Oh, good that you got. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, mom, I tried to like match what we were doing tonight. I figured I was doing buffalo check plaid. So I was like, oh, I'll wear buffalo, like I'll wear those colors, but I'm trying to be super careful. Yes, I'm not being as careless with my painting. Um, so there's a state park across the way what, with a lake um, where you could swim and all sorts of like hiking trails and everything. And I have to tell you, so we assume like you're staying on the lake, right? And around here, when you have a lake, there's always a place to swim, right? There's always like a little beach. That's just what we're used to. I can't see people coming on. Hi, Carmen. Um, and so up there, well, the first time we went to a park called Stewart Park, which was right near the hotel, which was great. We picked a hotel that was right, um, right near the lake. So it was never more than like a three minute drive to the lake. That was what we wanted. Um, and Bob could do a lot of swimming in the open water for training for his races. Um, but you know, we assume here, right, that we always have a beach at a lake. That's just what you find around here. Up there was that was not the case. It was kind of strange. Um, so that first park that we went to, Stewart Park, didn't have a beach to swim at. And I was like, oh man, because um, when we got to the hotel, the outdoor pool was closed. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's why we picked this hotel because um, it had a big outdoor pool that Bob could swim in and that I could like tan and everything. Um, it ended up raining a lot anyway. Uh, so the outdoor pool probably wouldn't have been quite an option. But um, so the first part didn't, didn't really have a place to swim. We ended up finding kind of this rocky area where a lot of the locals were swimming. So we went there. Um, Bob was able to do some training. But we went to the state park across the street from the huge waterfall. Um, they had a beachy area. And, you know, so we're used to beaches around here with sand. Um, that was not the case with this little beach. It was dirt and tree roots and mud, and it was not a beach. It was just a, a, a uh, angled path into the water, um, which was fine. It worked for us. Um, and so we're so Bob's swimming, you know, doing some training, kind of swimming, and I'm just kind of floating. 
and I'm looking out because I'm in a lake which is surrounded by gorges or a gorge I guess a gorge I'm not really sure how that works and I was overcome with how beautiful it was make sure you're saying hey when you're hopping on everybody um I was overcome with how beautiful it was I was just floating there and just looking and you know I could see Ithaca and Cornell University up you know up ahead like way up ahead you know on the hill um and you know you could just see I mean it was so green and the trees covering the gorges and the you know what looked like mountains I guess and I, I really I was overcome with the beauty of it I I've never been so sad to leave a vacation before I I just I really we both of us were really overwhelmed I think with the power and the beauty of nature we you know seeing the waterfalls and getting so close to them um, there was even this time we were driving and driving on just a regular street and Bob's like whoa did you see that waterfall I'm like I mean first of all again there's waterfalls all over their place there but um but I you know I didn't so you know we were going to dinner I or no we were going to that cruise I think I don't know we were, we were going somewhere um, so we didn't stop, but it wasn't far from the hotel. So we wanted to go back. So we went back and parked and got out of the car and looked and it, you know, it was a big, it was quite a big, much bigger than anything we have around here, waterfall. But, you know, we can only see so much of it from the, from the, um, the road. And I was like, oh, we can't really see too, too much of it. And then I looked down and there's a walking path and I'm like, Bob, <laughs> There is a path to the waterfall. <laughs> uh, now I'm in like flip flops and we were not prepared to do that that day. Um, but regardless, when in Ithaca and when near waterfalls. So we took this rocky path, which they were working on. They were trying to make it a nice smooth path for everybody. So we had to like go around all the construction fences and go through the, the water, the rocks that were in the water. And oh my gosh, it was a little adventure. It was fun, but we got so close to it. Um, and it was 50 feet shorter than the one we had seen previously. So it was still pretty tall. I um, mean, it was actually wider than the other one. Um, oh, but it was just so beautiful. And it was amazing to be that close. I kept waiting, I kid you not. I kept looking up at the top because we were right at the bottom. I mean, we were right, right at the bottom of the waterfall. Um, and I kept looking at the top waiting for something to come over the waterfall. Um, I don't know what, but just something like extra water, a boat. I don't know. Um, and so the whole time I'm thinking like, okay, if extra water comes over this waterfall, what's my game plan? What's my game plan? <laughs> I don't even think I told Bob that. I was so fun. I was just like, oh my gosh, what do I do here? Um, but I loved it. Oh, thanks, Carmen. It really, really was um, has anybody ever been up to the Finger Lakes? Drop some comments. Let me know because, oh my gosh, if you haven't, go. Run, don't walk. It was so nice. Okay, so we got two painted yellow. Okay. It's a cute little butter yellow color. Um, do I want to peel this off now? Probably. Do I want another coat? No, I think we're good. All right, I'm going to peel this off and then we're going to put the gingham napkin on the other one all right so we got one how cute is that oh we got people hopping on hello hello everybody say hey um but oh my gosh it was i, I don't know i just and it, i this one was weird too i wanted to like drive around the college campuses so ithaca has at least two colleges it might it might have more um and so I really wanted to drive around them, especially Cornell, because it's an Ivy League. I did not go to an Ivy League. I would have not got into an Ivy League. Um, so side note on the story, I want to run this by everybody. So um, to put a napkin, we're going to decoupage a napkin, okay? So I'm going to grab a thing. So napkins come in one ply, two ply, three ply, right? Like toilet paper. So this one, I believe, is a two-ply. So I have to attempt to take it apart. This is probably going to take longer than I want it to. Um, but there is a second ply in the background that you can take off. Here we go. Watch this. All right. 
So you take off the back. Hi, Mrs. Paquin. You take off the back and you can discard of that. Um, and this is the part we're going to be using. If you were to keep the plies on, now sometimes napkins have, a, have more than one. So this was a two ply, so we took the back one off, so now it's one. Um, if it has more than two, you have to take all the different layers off until you're left just with this one, okay? Um, because you'll have a ton, not that I don't get wrinkles anyway, but you'll have a ton, a ton of wrinkles. And it just will not work. I'm just going to dry my surface here. we got some yellow paint. That's going to mess things up, I feel like. So I'll show you how to do this. All right, drop some questions or whatever you got going on. Is this gonna be, oh, perfect. All right, so I like this best. Okay, so I am going to take some Mod Podge. I get it from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna spread that on. I am going to do all the sides, um, but I'm gonna work it in sides, in sections. I'm not gonna do it all at once because we're dealing with a napkin here and that is very delicate. So, all right, we got some Mod Podge. Use my extra. Doing exactly what I just said I wasn't going to do, but I had extra Mod Podge, so we're just gonna have to deal. Actually, we might not do that end. Okay, so we got the Mod Podge on. I am going to, that side has writing on it, so we're gonna ignore that. I want, Actually, I guess it really doesn't matter because we're going to go all the way around. But so I'm going to lay this on. Hopefully in a semi straight way. All right. And then I'm going to take a little more Mod Podge. Not much because I kind of already have some on there. All right. And we're going to spread that out on here. And then we're going to wrap the rest of it around. All right, super simple. You gotta love Mod Podge. Make sure you cover everything. Actually, I'm gonna get that edge down. I'm gonna Mod Podge over it. Okay, here we go. Literally just gonna wrap it up. Hopefully it lays flat. If it's not perfect, that's okay. Alrighty. Perfect. All right, so now I'm going to take a little bit more Mod Podge and put it on. You can put this on a plate or whatever, but I just tend not to. Now, I'm not taking the wrinkles out. They don't bother me too much. You can if you want, and what you would do is take a piece of plastic wrap and rub over it, and that will get your wrinkles out, okay? So that is something you can do. They don't bother me too much. I actually think they look kind of cute. They add a rustic feel. So it doesn't bother me too, too much, but if you do want to get rid of them, you certainly can. Oh, did this wrap around twice already? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna make sure we got the second wrap. And I'm putting Mod Podge all the way to my last corner. So that way it, hopefully, let's fingers crossed here, people. Hopefully it rips off nicely, all right. Yep, it's already ripping off. I don't want it on the edge, so that worked out well for me. And we're just gonna rip this off. Napkins are thin. So when wet, they tear very easily. All right. All right. The edge, oh, it's got a little, a little more rustic -y ripped than I wanted, but that's okay. We're just gonna Mod Podge it all down. Now, I'm not even sure you're gonna notice all that much. All right. Um, I am gonna poke the hole. There we go. Just use my my um, paintbrush. Happened to be the perfect size to do it. All right. Perfect. So now we've got a little buffalo check. And I will say, if you wanted, and I probably should have, but that's okay. Hi, Auntie. Um, if you wanted this buffalo check to show up a little bit more opaque. Oh, we got Mod Podge on me. Um... We could have painted white underneath it, and that would have given it, instead of the natural wood background, but I don't mind this. I think it looks cute. We're going for rustic. So, um, I'm trying to think of where we left off. Oh, so, I loved driving around the college, um, Cornell, specifically. We did end up driving around Ithaca College as well. Um, but Cornell University, oh my gosh, literally looks like 
castles on castles, and I think they own the whole city. I, I literally think they own the whole darn city, because um, everything you saw was Cornell. Um, but goodness, was it pretty. And for some reason, I really wanted a t-shirt. So Cornell doesn't, I was like, we should find a school store on campus. Um, well, they don't just have one school store. They have one at the mall. They have one downtown. They have one on campus. <laughs> so we just went to the mall and we were able to find the school store, which I thought was really cool. Um, so I got myself a, t a long sleeve t-shirt, which I'll have to wear. So I got two souvenir t-shirts on this trip. So I'll have to show you guys both at some point. Um, all right, I'm just doing a final Mod Podge. Definitely ripped a little, but I really like how that came out. Drop some comments, drop some hearts, drop some love, spread the love. Make sure you're um, spreading this out on your page. And hey, if you're just hopping on, say, hey, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're decorating spoons tonight and talking all things Ithaca because we went on a trip there last week. Um, so tell me if you think it's weird that I really wanted to like visit the colleges and all that. I don't know. I work in admissions and that's not at a college anymore, but I, that was like my thing. I don't know. I, I like colleges and stuff. Um, thank you, auntie. So, all right, I'm closing up shop here with the paints, put the paints back. All right. So actually we might, we're going to need those paints. Um, will we need those paints? Yeah, we're gonna need white and we're gonna need black. We're gonna do um, a little technique with some wood beads to do something fun with them. So let me just dry this up a little bit and I wanna make um, a hanger for these, okay? Choo, choo, choo. All right, so here's my thought. So they're all gonna hang together like this, right? We've got the, the three colors. Or the three spoons, I should say. I really like the white and black with the yellow. I thought that would be cute. All right, so they're going to hang together like this. Actually, I want this one in the back. Um, so I want to make, excuse me, I want to make a hanger for them all, okay? That's what, did I forget the jute? Is it right there? It is. Please hold. I always forget something. You know me. Oh no, I didn't forget it. I wanted to use the jute I have over here. Goodness, wow, I actually planned something correctly this time, everybody. Okay, so let's measure out some beads. I've got two sizes of beads. I get my beads on Amazon. Um, and so this came. This one came with some really pretty jute um, that I like a little better because it's a little lighter than the one that I normally use. Um, so, all right, take that off. And, ta -ta -ta. Actually, I'm gonna need these over here, so let's bring them over. All right, so we've got some jute. We need to find the end. How's everybody doing? What have they been up to? How's their weeks been? Anybody else been on vacation? We had such a wonderful, wonderful time. It was so relaxing. And what we did was, um, instead of spending the whole week, am I ever gonna find the end of this twine? Instead of spending the whole week, um, we spent part of the week on, you know, away, and then we spent the rest of the week here, which was nice. And we did, we made sure that we didn't do any work. Um, we just, we just hung out because it was still our days off, but we just wanted to not feel the pressure of the drive and coming back and then having to go to work right the next day. You know what I mean? Does anybody else ever do that? Um, leave a few days when they get home so that way you don't have to go right, right back to work. That was just kind of our thought. So, all right, now, um, the way that I want these to hang, I'm trying to think, I'm wondering if I should put like a bead in between each of them. What do you think? And then they'll hang, that way they'll have like a spacer. You know what I'm saying? It's like if I were to put some wood beads on like this between each one. Um, yeah, let's do that. So let me try, let me just see first. So I would put this in, I'm doing it backwards. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in, then put a wood bead, then put this one. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll put another wood bead. I think this is what we're gonna do. All right, everybody? All right, everybody? I'm getting paint all over me this time, guys. I feel like I always am such a mess when I do these projects. But that's okay. 
it's supposed to all be in good fun. All right, so we're going to space them out like that. So that way when they hang, um, they have a bit of a spacer. Do I want this? Actually, you know what? I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Nope, I don't like that because they won't hang flat against the wall. So, okay, never mind. Back to my original idea. They're just going to hang flush against each other, okay? And then we're going to make a little bead hanger for them. Okay, perfect. That's what we're going to do. All right, here we go, everybody. So, they're going to hang side by each. Side by each. That's my, that's my French. So, they hang side by each. One, two, three. I'm going to do this. So it's always a good idea before you paint your beads, measure out how many you need, okay? So my thought is I've got 20 millimeter beads and whatever these are. I don't know what these are. They're littler. Whatever they are, they're littler. All right? And I have, um... oh no, I lost my needle. Oh no. Shugs, I had a bag with my needle all ready to go. And I have now since lost it. Oh, shugs. Mush sugar. Mush sugar. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I need another needle. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. Here I am. Alright. I just gotta grab the I needed to grab the crochet pack to grab another needle. I try to keep one around um, for crafts, but it fell behind the desk. Best laid plans, right everybody? All right, so these are just embroidery needles and I use them to get into the smaller beads, okay? So my thought is we're gonna do big bead and then I'm gonna feed this through so we can get the little beads easier and then little bead, big bead, little bead. So we're going to measure them all out first. And a lot of times I do this ahead of time, um, but I didn't tonight and that's okay. So what's everybody up to tonight in this Monday evening? Um, I am, so we're live tonight and then, you know, Christmas in July, in my opinion, is coming up, right? Because um, July 25th is next weekend. So I'm thinking that uh, next week we'll do, um, or this week I should say, we'll probably do like a Friday and a um, I'm going to do two more. A Friday and a Monday. We'll do the 23rd and the 25th. All right. We'll do both nights. We'll do two Christmas crafts. Okay. Um, and that way we can get in on this Christmas in July loveliness. All right. I think that's a long enough. Um, I think that will be long enough. Let's see. What do you think? I think it's adorable. I think we're going to end with small ones, though. So we're going to start and end with small ones so that they lay a little flatter. All right, perfect. So now I have some cups, okay? And we're going to do something productive with these cups. So the small beads are going to be black. And the big beads will be... Let's see here. We already got so much yellow going, so let's just do black and white. So small beads will be black, big beads will be white. So I need to add another one into the black, and then all of those. So that's, and then I'll show you how I paint these using the cups, okay? Yes, Sunday's the 25th, Mom. So, um, but I want I like doing Mondays and Fridays now. It seems like we have more people on those nights. Um, so we're going to go live Monday and Friday, or Friday coming up and then Monday, all right? Um, and if, but watch, drop a, um, I'm sorry, click the bell to be notified from when I go live. Um, and so that you can see all my posts, um, if anything changes, cause it might end up just being next Monday. We'll do the one Christmas craft. Okay. All right. So let me cut this twine because we're all set with it. And so the trick is here, everybody. Oh, sorry. No, so I'm, I might've mom. Um, all right. Get those out of the way. Get the big ones out of the way. I just dropped one. Goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, and guys, I forgot to talk about like the super exciting stuff. So next Saturday, the 24th, um, we are going to be at a fair. Okay. So if you're local, uh, if you're one of our local peeps, come out and join us at Seven Cedars Farm um, on 
Route 116 in Smithfield. Um, join us 10 to 4 on Saturday. I posted about it the other day. And, um, yeah, come see us. Come say hey. Come see all of our stuff. Come see all the other local vendors. We'll be there again 10 to 4 on Saturday, Seven Cedars Farm, if you're local. All right, so I'm going to take some black paint. I'm going to hit it first. That way it all comes out. And I'm going to, oh, fridge. I am way off, everybody, tonight. Way, way off. That's what happens when I come off vacation and then I try to do this. You know what I'm saying? Normally, I would do some spritz, but I don't have any spritz with me. So I'm just going to pour some water in and swidge this around. And that's how we're painting our beads. And we're going to do the same thing with the white. And it makes it so much easier to paint beads this way. Another fun way to paint beads... Um, is you can put them in a bag and put some paint and some water in the bag. Um, and I'm trying to think, uh, or sometimes I'll put them on the end of a paintbrush and paint them that way. So those are all some good ways. I'm lucky that I hadn't rinsed any paintbrushes yet because I could use this paint, this water. It was so clean. All right, so I'm going to zhuzh these around too. Away from me because I can feel it splashing. Oh gosh, okay. I'm going to put a little bit more white in there, just it didn't get quite the color I wanted. My hand is literally covered in paint from it splashing. That's really funny, actually. Oh, let me tell you, everybody. So because of this fair coming up next weekend, I have been busy, busy, busy with projects. Um, when we were on vacation, look at my hand. I don't know. Can you see it? Oh, my gosh. It's covered in paint from the splashing. Um, but I am not, so we're good. All right, so those are done. Now I can stick everything in the water. So that my paintbrushes don't dry with paint on them and they get all cracked and I can make them again. We don't want that to happen. But so because I'm doing this fair next weekend, I wanted to make sure that I had all the inventory that I wanted. Um, and so I've been very hard at work making lots and lots of things. Um, and I've been really excited. I've been using a lot of the chalk paint, which makes me happy. Tonight we used all acrylic, but um, just because of the nature of where we're keeping everything, it's mostly indoor stuff. Um, but... I've been making a lot of things that you can hang outside and whatnot. So um, I've been making tons and tons of stuff and I can't wait for everybody to see it. I need a little bit more black paint on these guys. So we've been making door hangers and I even made these cute little succulent plants the other night. Um, so it's been a blast. Huh. So... So what is everyone up to? What kind of Christmas crafts do we want to see? Make sure that if you're catching this on the replay, you say, hey, drop some comments. Um, make sure you, even if you're watching this on the replay, even spreading it out then on your page is so helpful to us. So thank you very, very much. We really appreciate the support. All right. Okay. Here we go. Let's pour these out. And dry them up. Dry these bad boys up. Roll them around a little. Dry them up. Get them all dry. They roll around on you a little. You show them who's boss, okay? Get them all nice and dry. Right. So there's our black beads that I'm going to set aside. I'm going to do a little bit more on these. Oh my gosh, guys, they're going everywhere. They're going everywhere. My goodness gracious. All right, I'm going to put them in the plate over here. Let's hope they don't go in the yellow paint. All right. So that's those. We made a bit of a mess. So we're just going to leave that there. This is live, guys, right? This is live. All right. Now we get the white ones going. I'm going to just try to grab these out without the water so that we can just dry them the way they are. There's one, whoops, 
And the water came with it. Whoa. Here's two. So, you know what we went to that we were like so excited that was open again? Um, was we, so we like going to Chinese buffets. Um, although I can't say that we go often. So we have one near us that we like. Uh, <laughs> um, and it was back open. So we were able to go the other day, which was kind of crazy. I don't know. I feel like, I mean, we're very careful and you can wear gloves. Um, when you do it, so you, you know, we wear gloves and everything and we still to stay, stay put and do our own thing. And I'm trying off our white beads here. Um, but it was nice to, nice to have some things open again. Um, everything in New York too, which I thought, would, so you, know, you travel somewhere new. Um, and I really haven't been to New York all that many times, just like the city. I've never really been outside of the city, I don't think. Um, so I didn't. I, we didn't know what it was going to be like in terms of um, COVID and, and restrictions and things. And I didn't really do any research before we left, which I'm sure I could have. Um, but, I mean, they were they were pretty open, too, which was interesting. Um, you know, because I think we all got this, this idea of New York and COVID, you know, when it first started. So it was kind of crazy to go and lots of places you didn't have to wear a mask and everything. So... That was very interesting, um, but we had so much fun, so relaxing. When we came home, we still did all takeout um, and stuff. We didn't, you know, we didn't cook. I didn't even food shop. Like a couple of times, I'm like, we don't really have any food in the house. Uh, <laughs> so tonight I cooked for the first time in like a week. Um, and oh my gosh, and I made burgers that I stuffed with brie. And then I put, you ever done this before? put a bunch of different vegetables in tinfoil pockets, put them on the grill. Um, and I was gonna use Italian dressing, but then I was like, eh, I'll just do my own thing. So I just did like olive oil, salt and pepper and um, and Italian seasoning and they came out wicked good. And then we sauteed some kale. Um, Cause I've been super into kale lately, I don't know why. Um, but all right, so. Here's our I just have to figure out how I'm gonna do this. I just have to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Hold on, I'm trying to think. Just trying to think. I've got it. By George, I've got it. I'm gonna stick this through. All right, and then we're going to glue, and then we'll put a little raffia on it to hide. All right? <sighs> All right, here we go. Finishing touches. Let's pull this together. So now they've got this cute little hanger. Oh, how cute is that? Isn't that adorable? Okay, so we've got this cute little hanger. And I will finish this at another time because I want to surprise you guys. All right, and I want to figure out exactly what we're doing. Oh, hey, Laura. Hey, my pleasure. I've been loving this, all right? I'm glad you're able to stop on. So here's where we're going to stop tonight. I'm just going to tie this off real quick because I want to figure out exactly how I want to finish this and then show you guys the finished product via picture and the replay tomorrow, okay? So I'm just going to tie this off so that you can see where we're at. All right. So we've got our three wooden spoons, all nice. We did um, some butter yellow. We did um, we decoupaged a buffalo chick napkin on one of them. And then we painted some beads and strung them so that they'll have something really cute to hang on. Here, let me up this light here so you can see everything a little bit better. There we go. All right. And what I'm going to do is finish this off. So ignore this jute in the back. I'm going to finish this off tonight and then the big reveal tomorrow um i'll probably do some like raffia with it and um yeah all sorts of kind of fun stuff all right so make sure that you head back to the page tomorrow so that you see the finished product with the replay okay gonna add some new things to it check it out all right um again if you're watching this on the replay 
Check out the post right after this one, all right? So you can see the finished product. Make sure that you spread this out on your page if you're loving it. Um, and thank you so much for watching. This has been so much fun. I'm glad I got to share our vacation stories with you. Share yours too, okay? I know it's the summer, it's vacation season. Drop some comments below with your vacation stuff. Um, I'll be live with Christmas in July this coming weekend. Um, I'll share with you later this week exactly what days, most likely Monday of next week and maybe Friday of this week. Um, and we're at a fair on Saturday at Seven Cedars Farm from 10 to 4. Um, hop on our page too just to check out details on that as well. All right, so hop back tomorrow to see the final product with these spoons. And I will see you later on this week. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for spending your Monday night with me. I'm Bethany from Count Your Stitches. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everyone.